go up here some years, but I haven't. Last time I was up this way was like at 14. I'm not gonna stop on this ice. I think there's a creek that lets out right here, and uh, I don't want to take a chance of uh, something weird. I break through. So, um, how many miles you got on this thing? All right, I got 817 miles. I've uh, I got it just about a year ago. I bought it the weekend the Iron Dog finished. The Iron Dog started today, so I'm within a week of a full year. Uh, have I had any issues? No. Uh, I haven't even adjusted the belt on the thing. Uh, that one ride, what is that really wet, heavy snow? I heard a squeaking, so well, let's look. It might need to be adjusted. I know I was going to just put, a, put the spare belt on it. Uh-oh. That's no good. I'll fix that off video. I'm glad I didn't lose my shovel. I had to backtrack all that way. So let's see what our belt looks like. Uh, I'd have to, the Polaris belt has to be a little bit above and this one's a little bit below. So I would say I need to adjust the belt and uh, what I think I'll do instead is just put on the brand new spare belt I have underneath the seat. I was, it's always a good idea to have both your belts broken in that way if you're in some tight area and your belt um you blow a belt uh when you put your new one on you could just run it normally you don't have to take try to break it in so okay um yeah so it looks like uh 872 miles need to adjust to that ski skins i feel are completely necessary the thing nice in otherwise um stock skis are terrible unless you just ride a lot of hard pack but otherwise, machines have been great. I heard all, oh, my buddy was telling me a bunch of people are having electrical issues. I haven't had any electrical issues. Um, one thing I hate are these little doors. And I actually reversed the nuts on these. I think they're the other way to try to make it a little bit easier to get these off. But that one I couldn't even put back in because there's a metal bar that comes across here. It's just such a hassle it's just such a stupid freaking design um if, if this was like if these are all connected but uh as i recall they're they're phillips head screws that's what's on the other side and i think i replaced these with bolts with hex head bolts if i remember right when i put these back in this fall because uh it was just too difficult uh for one for you just when you're trying to do it by yourself i don't like that design um so it's pretty minor Hell, I haven't even adjusted the track on the thing. It's got actually got big extroverts on it. It's kind of funny. So, yeah, uh, I don't have much to report. I like the sled. It's been super reliable. I have. I haven't even. I don't think I've even pulled the spark plugs out of it. I haven't followed the plug. Just runs, just like you'd expect the Yamaha to do. Uh, I'm kind of at a loss of, uh, you know, when I watch a review, I want to know what are the, what are the negative things. Um, uh, it's, it's really freaking heavy. <laughs> you know, here, I could even try. I'm not picking this big bastard up. <laughs> oh, it's higher than I thought I could pick it up. So I can, I can actually do that. I don't know that I've really tried. Huh. Well, that's good to know. So I can pick up the back just to ever so slightly. Um, <laughs> I would be able to pick it up high enough to get it on a tracks, you know, um, a dolly. But uh, <laughs> and if there was, this is like super dry snow. If that was wet, there's no way I'm picking that thing up. I'm not even going to try with the front. Yeah, yeah, I will. Let's see. It's got a nice big bumper. Maybe I can sumo squat this. Let's see. One, two, three. Holy shit! No, um, I'm not picking the front up. All right. Well, a uh, quick review. No use uh, rambling on. Uh, I'll do some more video if I find something cool. Maybe I'll try to go up on those hills over there. I want to do a little bit of hill climb, but I'd go up on the on what's that's hogs back. I'd go up that, but the bottom's super freaking icy. And last weekend, my wife and I headed up there. And uh, we spun out on the ice. It took two of us to 
get this thing going again and uh I was just up there yesterday on my XDR with studs and I'm not going up there on this until we get more snow. Okay. All right, guys. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.